Hello, it's Guy here from GD Models. Today we're doing stage four of the uh, Ducati 888. Right, in this build, we'll be uh, building the rear swing arm, uh, connecting the wheel to the rear swing arm, and then connecting the whole assembly of the rear swing arm to the uh, the back of the bike. Um, once, so basically. Um, the step is we want to get I use my super glue again as I do in most of my videos or shall I be doing another video for the um, mosquito in most probably the next 24 hours so you guys out there who like to watch that build, just to let you know, that'll be coming up soon. Um, right, okay. In this step, as you can see, I've already done the decals on the rear swing arms. I like when the swing arms, like for example, on this kit, um, it comes in this pre like polished sprue, sort of like a, a chrome sprue. I know some people don't like it, they say it's a bit like, makes the kit look a bit, um, oh, what is it, cartoony, like, like a toy, but um, personally, I have no problem with it, I think it's quite nice. Just put my instructions up there, right, okay, so the first step is get this wheel, which obviously it's very shiny, it's done with the X1 by Tamiya, get my super glue and get my old trusty cocktail stick. Now what you want to do is get this uh, rear brake here and a certain way around here it's got a little locator pin so what I'll do is put a bit of glue on that bit, on that bit and on that bit so you've got like a try three bits of glue on there and now what you want to do is turn it around and glue that onto there like that there we go so it's one side And now, um, once I've done that, the next part is I'll just put this to one side for a second. Get the, uh, let's say, what's the side? Just make sure. Also, I've got an interesting little fact for you out there. Is it, well, it's not a fact, but I've, I've noticed it my personal self. Is in a lot of Tamiya models, um, it tells you to do um, X11 and a bit of X12. So a bit of uh, chrome, I believe the colour is, with um, gold. But I was noticing the other day, I mixed some up. And then also I've got this stuff called titanium gold, which is X31. And I compared the two colours, the X31 to obviously the colour that I mixed up, the the alley, sorry, the chrome and the gold, and it's actually exactly the same colour. I've noticed that when the kits ask you to make the colour up of um, X11 and X12, they're normally slightly older kits. But the newer kits normally shout out for like X32 or X31, which is obviously you got X31, which is um, titanium and gold, and X32, which is titanium silver. So maybe uh, Tamiya realised that the colour they were calling out for to mix is so commonly used that they decided to bring out a colour that is already pre mixed. But that's my theory anyway um just through what i noticed the other day anyway back to the kit so what i've done here is the rear swing arm obviously and then you get 
this bit here and you'll notice there's one groove two dots two uh, locator pins on one side and one uh, locator pin on the other now obviously on this side you have two locator pins that's like that and then what you've got to do then is don't forget at this stage is put on the uh, rear sprocket which is a bit tough well it's not tough but it's like you have to open up the chain a little bit but and then once the rear sprocket's on you get obviously a little bit more glue which I'm just going to put inside the rear sprocket on this side and then obviously some more glue on here like that and then I will get the other side of the old uh, frame a rear swing arm and put it on here like so and hold it there um, for a few seconds just like that I've also noticed there's a nipple on that side but I don't know what that's for most probably will come up with something later on right and then now with that being done still hold it a few more seconds excuse me turn this around hold it there as well hold that in place like that now turn this way swing arm around and then what you want to do is you get this long thing here which I've never seen anything like this really it's obviously the rear brake but obviously it's got uh, normally on old brake uh, new bikes you've got obviously the tubing but this is quite an, an interesting little something I've never done before on a motorbike um, which obviously I'm going to put a little bit more glue because it goes into the, this bit here one a little bit there and then what you do is that just sort of goes over the top like that um, I don't know what actual angle it goes for so I'm just going to sort of have it quite close hopefully I've got in the right part otherwise I might just have to move it around a little bit now the next step is what I'm going to do um, is get the old rear wheel which also if you've noticed with this rear wheel the tyre uh, you can you normally get a seam running down the middle right down the middle all the way around it's a moulding process it's not the end of the world um, what I do is get a Dremel and then with a very um, smooth like um, head I sand it all back so it looks worn um, you don't have to do it to all the tyres the ones I normally do it on is the, the GP bikes so ones that have bold tyres and also Formula 1 cars as well so that's something I read about to do in the past but I can't remember exactly where I read it um, now this has got to slide through here like that and then there's a obviously like you saw before you've got on this side of the sprocket that's got a slide in but as you can see I'm putting a bit of pressure on it and this has just got to sit in here somehow which it doesn't that's because of that there we go so that's now located in the right place now the trick is with that being like that what you want to do also another thing I noticed as well on this bike just for people who are planning on getting this bike or you've got a decal here it's one big decal what if you notice there's a pin here that comes out there's no hole in this decal 
So what I did while it was still dry and obviously on the back on the back end, you work out where the actual pin goes through and then I just cut a little circle and then obviously I did the deck as you normally do and then obviously put it over the top. I did that obviously before um I I uh, submerged it in water. So um basically it wouldn't um it wouldn't be a pain to put on after. Same with this side as well. Right, the next step is you want to get the rear um, screw. It's a long one. And obviously it sits in there. And I just need to quickly get my uh, screwdriver back, which I've been using as a rest. And just push it in. And just need to find where it locates to tighten it up. Sometimes this can take a bit of like you just gotta wibble it a bit. There it goes, it's biting now. There we go. That's uh done now. Now that's the rear assembly apart from obviously this mud guard here and this uh weird thing here that pipes for the next step so what I do now is there's two long pits here there and there now this bit is where I run a bit along that bit and run a bit along here and that's where the rear um, mud guard's gonna sit so the mud guard comes oh, how does it go? Right, I think it goes like that. No, um this is gonna there we go. No, how the hell does this go? Am I looking at this wrong? Uh, slides between the wheel and the brace in there so like that and that's the rear mug guard quite a big mug guard as you can see <laughs> and now yeah, what I want to do is get this little bit and you've got two locating bits here one there and one on the other side right you got to make sure this little bit here is on the right side because it's actually off center as you can see it's actually on it's more to the side with um the brake rather than the chain and that sort of just needs to squeeze in there like that i'm not going to glue it because obviously it just locates like that now this i just gotta turn my trusty old instructions around whilst gluing a cocktail stick to my hand there we go no. it doesn't want to sit down there we go now with this there should be a locator at the rear shock um, from step one, you know this bit here. There's a locator here, that's where this bit goes. And then obviously you've got the end sprocket and then obviously the end of the uh, other part. So what you want to do, this needs to slide in here, there's a location here for it to slide into on each side, yep. So basically, you just want to slide the rear, move the chain out of the way. Um, you want to move that, there we go, that's on there, 
thickness on there. Right. That being done, what I'm going to do while that's on, I'm going to go into, sorry, while it's located, I'm going to drop the screw, the main axle, through the engine, like that, and then I'll screw it up, because that's half the problem, is getting that one done. And now, obviously, on the other side, it's being a bit annoying. So, hold the frame. And where is it? I've lost it. There we go. Is that going in now? I think it is. Should be. Nope, it's not. It's moved. Just, just need to keep wiggling it till it finds the grip. There we go. You can feel it straight away when it grips because it suddenly gets tighter. And then you just screw it on. Like that. And now get the old tweezers like this. Get some more super glue and put on the sprock behind the sprocket because it's still not sitting in the correct location. Put in the hole, and now what you want to do is just sort of wiggle the sprocket into place. Right, like that. I think that's it. There we go. Like that. And now, um, you see on this side, this needs to line up and go in two little holes. So, get some more super glue, quickly whack it in the two little holes and just easy tweezers to put it in like that there we go so it's like that and now last but not least the uh, rear cable which one end comes out of this nipple here under coming out of the brake pad this will be the brake fluid cable and connect the cable to um there when it wants to go on There we go, and the last bit, get my tweezers and it goes in to a bit that I can't find, oh there, right, it's fun, it goes on the top one, this goes up here, and then onto the top nipple up here anyway like that. and as always if you've liked this video please subscribe and hit the like button and um Please subscribe, uh, thank you for watching and from Guy, happy modelling, bye.